if you're trying to run multiple businesses and they're multiple separate and discrete companies, do not put them under one workspace account. That would be, yeah, I mean, it's against the terms of service, I'm sure, to have completely separate entities that are unrelated in one workspace account, but that's just gonna create an absolute mess. If you're really serious about managing multiple workspace accounts, you should sign up as a reseller. There are you know, minimum revenue requirements and all those kind of things are you know, responsible for that. And then you would create a separate individual Google workspace account for each company. The only time you would have multiple domains or multiple users combined under one workspace account is if they're two businesses that are working very closely together. And I've created many videos on this on the channel on managing multiple domains and when you would choose to have each, whether you go for two separate accounts with two distinct workspace accounts, or if you just have one consolidated workspace account with multiple domain names in there operating under the one account. The shorter story of all of those videos is, and, and the short story on how to make a decision is, if it's one business and it's fundamentally the same staff, or if you have one set of shareholders and two brands that are effectively being run as one business, that makes sense to have them both in the same account. But apart from that, if it's different businesses, if you have different shareholders, if you are for you know whatever reason expecting that one of those businesses may need to be merged out of the other or demerged out, then you would wanna make sure that you have them separate in separate workspace accounts because splitting up users and transferring one domain to another account requires a migration and it's a bit of a pain to go through that process. We do those every day, all day long. If you wanna merge two accounts into one, or if you wanna demerge one account into multiple accounts, we do that for businesses under our migration service. Uh, so if you're interested in that, click on the link down below this video and our team will be happy to help out. But if you are a web uh, designer or a consultant or a business consultant of some sort, and you wanna spin up lots of workspace accounts, you know maybe you don't even wanna bother being a reseller, but you just wanna help your customers get set up, have a chat to our team. Uh, we've got a partner program where you can become an affiliate of IT Genius and uh, we'll be happy to set those up for you on your behalf. Our team are gonna be much faster. We'll train your customers. We'll give them a bunch of perks and we'll give them a free subscription to Concierge as well, just for billing through us. So if you're interested in that, click on the link down below, get in touch with our team. Let them know you'd like to become a partner, a referral or an affiliate partner and our team will have a chat to you about what that looks like. If you like this content, please hit subscribe and hit the bell notification so you can be notified when we go live or drop new content on the channel. Now, if you'd like to connect with us, hit us up on social media or join our free community group. All the links to that are right below this video. If you'd like to learn more about Google Workspace and the technology ecosystem, you can join our free Genius Academy by transferring your billing across to IT Genius, or you can join a Workspace Basics Bootcamp. Now, if you're a business owner and you're interested in an audit on your technology stack or your workspace account, or you're looking to do a project in the tech world, well, you can take advantage of our free consultation. And if you need help right now, then consider joining Concierge or taking up a quick fix with our team for professional support for your tech stack. choose to have each, whether you